WTV4 Weather. Welcome back. The update just in from the Hurricane Center on Hurricane Ignacio and Jimena. Let's take a look at what has changed or what hasn't changed. Starting off with Ignacio, now 660 miles to the southeast of Hilo tonight, so getting closer. But winds are still at 90 miles an hour, so it hasn't gained strength. Its updated path has it moving even farther to the north of the Big Island, making its closest approach northeast of the Big Island still on Monday. And the track looking much better for the state as we continue to work through uh, the next six hours. The state barely in the cone, so a good chance it will remain north of the state. Other storm models as well, uh, still majority of them continue to keep Ignacio well to the north of the islands. But again, this is two to three days away when it makes its closest approach, so there is the chance that it can change, but uh, so far so good. The trend has uh, continued to move it uh, more northerly than closer to the state. Now, even with this track here, the impacts that we are anticipating, because the storm force winds only extend up to 80 miles, uh, if this thing moves a little closer to the state, we could still be in line for damaging winds, maybe some heavy rain. So that's why it's important for you to stick with our weather team through the week. Uh, watches and warnings may take place as early as tomorrow, especially for offshore waters. So boaters, you, you really want to uh, keep updated with uh, all the latest on that. And the high surf still expected to move into the Big Island, uh, north and east facing shores starting tomorrow. Another look at Hurricane Jimena, this thing even bigger than Ignacio. It is a Category 3 hurricane, its path taking it up to possibly near Category 5 strength by tomorrow. That's winds at about 160 miles an hour, but you can see well away from the islands uh, by Wednesday, still hundreds of miles to the east of the state. And uh, its track looking like it'll kind of shift a little more north northwest. Still early to tell, but again, uh, we'll be monitoring that. As well. So, as we head into the weekend again, our weather team still keeping an eye on two of these hurricanes. So far, the weather looking good for Saturday. Uh, it just uh, depends on what Ignacio decides to do as we inch our way into Sunday night and Monday. But, uh, Kenny, as we've uh, known so many times this season, stay tuned because things can change and likely will change. Hold on to your seats. Yeah. All right. Good morning. Thank you.